Uh-uh. Russell Bell. I know B&B like I know a thousand other outfits, but I don't know him. Why should I talk to him? Because Russell's a good man, and he's ready to run. Then let him run for you. Hang on. Wait a minute, partner. I don't think you know who you're okay. dealing with. Oh, yeah. You know who that is? Have a nice day. Got your running shoes on? You're in. That's the faucet? Shit, as far as the federal money's concerned, he's everything. The faucet, the goose. What goose? The one that lays them golden eggs. <laughs> now, your man better be as good as his word, or your word. If you are still in possession of that kind of mentality, then you are definitely not ready. It's right. Not now. It's Avon. Shut the door. Let's do it. I'll be in touch, partner. When I see this is fucked up. Oh, I'll give you a quarter of a million dollars to have him tell me my paperwork is insufficient enough to certify me as a developer in the empowerment zone, yeah. Yeah, you could call it fucked up. Look, I know we touched the right people. Just let me get with them, clear this mess right up. Get with them. Yeah, I'm on it, Strang. You got the light bulb franchise, right? That came through. Now man, you're talking about 30,000 coming back, man. I'm talking about the quarter of a mil that you took. Now, you need to call Mr. Goose, Mr. Fawcett, whoever the fuck you got to call, because I gave you money to run. Remember that? It ain't like no drug deal, Strang. Hell, man, you don't put your money on the street and have it come right back. It don't work like that. Oh, it don't, huh? Patience, my man. Sometimes with the bureaucracy, the one hand don't know what the other is all about. Yeah, well, you know what I see? I see one hand in my pocket, while the other hand seemed to have grabbed your dick. Shim. Shamrock. Run these over to Levy for me. Tell him I want to read on it. A read? Fresh eyes. Tell him I'll call him tomorrow. All right. Something funny about that? Because I look in the paper and I see all these federal grants coming down, but nothing for B&B. You're expecting what? Payout. Big payout for what we put in, man. Federal dollars on them Howard Street rehabs. You gave money up front? 250000 yep. To Clay Davis. Now you know. What you said? He's running game? Nah, hell no. He ain't that brazen. Mm -mm. Let me guess. He told you about the faucet. Or was it the goose that laid the golden egg? You ever actually meet the man? Did you ever actually see any of your cash reach anyone in authority? Yeah, I met the guy at the federal building. Yeah, I met him. Yeah? What office? He came down to the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> he rain made you. A guy says if you pay him, he can make it rain. You pay him. If and when it rains, he takes the credit. If and when it doesn't, he finds reasons for you to pay him more. Clay Davis rain made No, you. man, he, he got them building permits in no time at all, man. I mean, he bribing these motherfuckers. He got the city contractor's money back. How much? 35,000 so far. A quarter million you gave him. It's for bribing the motherfuckers. There are no bribes. You really think a state senator is gonna risk his, his salary and his position by walking into a federal office with a briefcase full of drug money? I seen uh, Chunky, Chunky Coates. Chunky Coates gets his grant money same way everyone does. He fills out applications, he makes sure the plans meet spec, then he prays like hell. This is an old game in this town. And Clay Davis? That Ghanif was born with his head in someone's pocket. Just wish you had run it by me sooner. <laughs> 